Hey everybody, Joe Scambate here. So for today's scam, we're going to talk about the back brace, knee brace, let's charge Medicare or Medicaid an exorbitant amount of money for a $15 or $20 piece of medical equipment. So this scam has been going on for years now. Um, there has been busts and it doesn't really matter because it keeps on going. So basically what they do is they call you up and they ask you if you're feeling any pain and um, then they want to give you knee braces and back braces and shoulder braces and then they want all your numbers and all your informations. So uh, yeah, and then they charge the Medicaid company um, thousands of dollars to the dollar almost for these back brace, knee brace, etc. So... Uh, what I got going on here is I'm going to play a couple of PSAs first to get you know about the scam, and then we'll get right into the scam call. So everybody, please tell your grandparents, your grandma, your granddad, your uncle, your aunts, anybody that is over 65, anybody on Medicaid, Medicare, uh, the lady up the street, the guy next door, just spread word about these scams. And if you receive a package with medical equipment in it, don't even open it. Send it right back to where it came from. All right, everybody, without further ado, here's the PSAs. Please like and subscribe. Well, a package on your doorstep, always a good sign that something you've ordered has finally arrived. But what if it's something you didn't order? A warning for Medicare recipients this morning as mysterious packages are popping up at consumers' front doors, charging Medicare a hefty price and stealing your peace of mind. That's the back brace. Anna Miller rifles through her package. A back brace, shoulder brace, and a couple other pieces of medical equipment. All addressed to her, but there's one problem. They must have thought I was in bad, bad shape to send me both of them in one box. She never ordered any kind of medical devices. Well, I thought it was terrible. I figured it was, a, you know, it was false. And the worst part, the cost of the back brace charged to her Medicare account. It's a scam the Federal Trade Commission says is on the rise, targeting your Medicare dollars and personal information. Anna reached out to Medicare to see what was up. Well, they just said they'd look into it and they questioned me. Medicare followed up with Anna, sending a letter confirming an investigation into the matter. Meanwhile, the FTC warning Medicare recipients to be aware. If someone calls and says they're with Medicare and offers you a free or low-cost brace, hang up right away. Medicare will never call you with such an offer. Never give your Medicare or other personal information over the phone to anyone who calls asking for it. If you do need a brace or medical equipment, talk to your doctor. Sellers on the phone don't know what you need. And lastly, don't accept medical equipment you get in the mail unless you or your doctor ordered it. Remember, you don't have to pay for things you didn't order. And we did reach out to the company listed on the box that sent Anna the back and shoulder braces, but we have yet to hear back about how it received the order and Anna's address information. If you are the victim of suspected Medicare fraud, report it to Medicare or the FTC immediately. And you can find a link to do that on our website, kgrh.com. Thank you for joining us. The Knoxville Orthopedic Clinic is issuing now a warning about scammers who are targeting Medicare recipients with the promise of, well, free back or knee braces. Right? These schemes are a concern because what con artists are after is stealing your Medicare and medical insurance information that can result in identity theft. Well, tonight, WATE 6 on your side, consumer reporter Don Dare says some beneficiaries are receiving unwanted or unneeded braces. That's right, Lori. Sometimes braces are sent even if they're not medically necessary, often without an examination. It's a scam the government says is on the rise, targeting Medicare dollars and personal information. This is a back brace they sent me. Pauline uses a back brace to ease her arthritis pain. We reported two years ago this brace was sent after getting an unsolicited call. They called me and said I was eligible for a back brace and Medicare would pay for it at no cost to me. This comes up here. The brace came from a legitimate medical equipment company. Last year, we reported Nancy, who is blind, was sent two packages from medical supply companies. 
And she started asking the same information, my birth date and all that information. Just like Pauline, Nancy received unsolicited calls, several on the same day. 10 o'clock in the morning, they start. We're calling you from Medicare, and uh, we would like to find out about your pain, your back pain. And that caller is gonna try to obtain the Medicare ID uh, number from, from the patient. Christy Parker from Tennessee Orthopedic Clinic says some of their patients have recently received some scam calls. What are they saying on the phone? That they're from Tennessee Orthopedic Clinics and that they've identified that person as eligible for free knee or back bracing. Scammers spoof phone numbers to make them appear they are calling from real orthopedic clinics. Those targeted anyone who receives Medicare benefits. People need to be aware that physicians offices aren't going to call and ask for information such as a Medicare ID number or date of birth. If you're an established patient, we have that information and there's no need for us to call and, and ask you for that over the phone. Several government anti-fraud units are after the scammers. The Health and Human Services Office has issued this alert. People are reaching out to Medicare beneficiaries to offer medical equipment such as braces, wheelchairs, and diabetic test strips. Some of these individuals are fraudsters who will ask for your Medicare number or other personal information. They will then send you medical equipment you do not need while billing Medicare in your name. Medicare says if someone calls saying they're from Medicare offering free braces, hang up. Never give your Medicare or other personal information over the phone to anyone asking for it. And remember, sellers on the phone don't know what you need. If you require any type of medical equipment, talk to your doctor. And if you have any questions, you can call us. You can call our clinics if you're a patient of ours and you're wondering, hey, did my doctor really order this? Is this something that I'm supposed to, you know, work through with you? Give us a call. We'll get it straightened out. And that is your best advice. Call your doctor's office immediately if you get an unwanted brace. What happens is if you give the scammers information, they'll use it to fraudulently bill Medicare. This uses up your medical benefits, which means you might not be able to get the right brace later if your doctor prescribes one. Now, federal agents broke up a billion dollar Medicare scam last year peddling unneeded orthopedic braces. But apparently, another group is back again this year. If you know of someone on Medicare, let them know about this scam. Bo? Yeah, don't doubt. Spread the word. All right, Don. Also, that you're suffering from pain due to arthritis or old age sometimes. Is it correct? Well, yes. I, I have pain and I have a doctor's prescriptions and stuff like that. Yes. So we can help you with the brace and with no cost to you. So it will be covered by your insurance, Medicare, Part B, sir. The, I'm sorry. What did you say? Braces? I... Uh, Yes, sir. I haven't had braces since I was a kid. What are you talking about braces? What kind of braces? So if you have any pain in your back, knee, or shoulder, wrist, ankle, so we can help you with the braces, sir. And, sir, uh, do you have any pain in your back, knee, or shoulder, I'm asking you? Well, no, I have shoulder pain. I have back pain, but you mean like a back brace? Yes, sir. We can help you. You have a shoulder pain and back pain. We can help you with the braces, sir. The braces. Oh, okay. Well, can you tell me, give me some more information? Sure, sir. I'll give you. So, uh, before that, uh, sir, I can see in my records you're suffering from pain due to arthritis or old age. So, where do you feel pain in your back, knee, shoulder? You have a pain in your back. Oh, yeah, shoulder, I have. Right? I have knee pain in my knees. And my lower okay. back. My shoulders are okay. Okay, just a moment, sir. Okay, moment, sir. I just need to check your eligibility first, sir. Can you help me with your first name and last name, sir? Uh, first name is Imus. I-M-U-S. Imus. And how do you spell your last name, sir? Uh, Kammer. K-A-M-M-E-R. K-A-M-M-E-R. Right, so it is pronounced okay, Kammer. Fine. Did you get my name right? Kammer. I'm a scammer, correct? Yes, you are, yes. Yes. Uh, can you please help me with your date of birth, sir? We can check your eligibility first. Uh, April 1st, 1947. April 1st, 
April 1st, 1947. And the phone number I'm calling you, 978-566-1267, is the Correct. best number to reach you? I'm yes. A Correct. Okay. So, you are. Okay. Uh, so can you help me with your city zip code? Uh, yes, it's uh, zero, uh, 03848. Okay, just a moment. I just need to check your eligibility first. Uh, okay, just a moment, please. Okay, yeah, your zip code is good. Okay, sir, can you help me with your Medicare number so we can check your eligibility for your braces, sir? My Medicare number? Yes, sir. Oh, Medicare I'm not supposed. I, I was at I was at the senior center the other day, and they said never to give out your social security number, your Medicare number. Never give out any numbers over the phone. Sir, uh, sir, be rest assured, we are here to help you. I'm only asking you for your Medicare number, only to check your eligibility for nothing, any other purpose, sir. I'm only asking for this purpose, only to check your eligibility for your braces, sir. Yes, but you have you, you need to understand, my friend. You know, that's your word against what I have in my gut. And my gut tells me not to give out any numbers over the telephone. Now, if I was to sure. fill out an application, okay, I would put my, my numbers down on an application. But giving it over the phone, I don't know who you are, sir. Sir, uh, we just need to check your eligibility for these braces. Then only we can check your eligibility. Sir. Yes. We need your Medicare. So are you? Uh, so what? What happens here? You, if I needed the braces, you would charge my Medicare and send me the braces. It will be covered by your insurance, Medicare Part B, okay. sir. That is why we are asking for your Medicare number. Can I ask you a question first? Do you know how much the braces cost? Because I would not want your company to charge thousands of dollars for a $10 brace. Do you understand me? Sir, as I said, which is no cost to you, sir. Which is no, no cost it's because you. I'm covered by Medicare. But how much do you charge for the braces? That's the thing. Because if sir, you're going to sell are... me, if you're going to sell me and give me a $10 brace sir, that are... I can buy at Walmart, wait a minute, sir, and then you charge my insurance company $1,500 for a brace, this doesn't seem fair. So how much are the sir, braces? We are... Sir, we are not here to do any money business, sir. Oh, we well, then I'm the sorry, brace. sir. Um, I'm going to have to disconnect this phone call and buy my braces somewhere else. Sir, we cannot help you without your Medicare number. First, we need to check your eligibility first. And only we can uh, tell you is that you are eligible for these braces or not, sir. Hmm. If I need we braces, need your... if I need back braces or if I need a... An arm brace. I'll, I'll go to my doctor, sir. My doctor will prescribe me anything. And he has all my insurance and Medicare numbers. Okay, just, uh, well, just a moment, sir. I have a word with my close supervisor. He will let you know. Okay. 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 Just a moment, sir. Yep. He'll let you know. Okay. 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 Just a moment, sir. Is my flow supervisor. Okay. Have a word with him. Yes. Just a moment. I am a scammer. Just a moment, sir. My uh, supervisor is here. Just a moment. Okay. Okay. Sir, oh. Uh, So without checking your eligibility, sir, nobody is going to offer you any braces, sir. But that's okay because I could physically go buy them or get them prescribed through my doctor, correct? Yes, sir. It will prescribe. So prescribe that's why I was wondering yeah. how much you charge for the braces. That way I can make my decision whether I wanted to go through Medicare. Because there are a lot of scammers that will scam Medicare. 
And I want to make sure you're not a scammer that's going to scam Medicare. Sir, here's my flow supervisor. Thank you. Hello, speaking with. Yes, my first name is Imus, and my last name is Cammer. K A M M E R. Hey, Mr. Cammer, this is Tim Fisher, the supervisor, working from past years with senior benefits as a supervisor over here. Recently promoted as a senior supervisor over here. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing well, sir. Thank you for confirming. I would like to confirm the date of birth I have for you, 4 one Is that all correct, Mr. Cameron? Correct. Uh-huh. Mr. Cameron, I would like to confirm the uh, zip code I have for you, 3848. That is 03848. Is that correct? That is correct. And we need to make sure whether your brace is going to be covered by your Medicare. We need Medicare as your primary insurance. So we'd like to confirm over here with you whether... Medicare is a primary insurance or not, so is it possible for you to grab your red, white, blue card, your Medicare card? Yes, I, I mean, I, I have Medicare, but my question to your subordinate was, this has to do with back braces or knee braces or shoulder braces, correct? Hold on just a second. Uh, I'm just checking a zip card over here. So right now, um... Hold on, okay, just checking whether we can deliver the braces. Well, no, oh, that's okay. not my question, sir. I was saying, what I was saying was that mm -hmm. you're offering these knee, back, or shoulder braces to go through my Medicaid, my Medicaid, correct? Correct. Okay. Now, how much do you charge for these implements? Because my question is... I can get so, all these braces through my doctor. Why do I need I to go through it. you? Yeah, Mr. Kamer, I'm so sorry, okay? Uh, first of all, I want to interrupt you. I don't want to waste your time. At your current zip code, we're not helping you with any kind of braces. And Mr. Kamer, I'm so sorry. I would have explained to you how much we're going to cost and how much we're going to charge no, you. No, because it's a scam. But You're going to charge my Medicare a lot of money for a $10 brace. There you go. Okay, everybody, please tell your elderly folks about these scams. They call up and they say they're from the medical center or they're from the medical institute or they're from the pain management center. They say many different things about back braces and knee braces. But when you won't give them the numbers, they get very frustrated. Uh, what these companies do is they'll charge your Medicare $1,500, $2,000 for a $10 back brace that you can get at Walmart or any other drugstore or anything like that. So please tell your elderly friends about these scams. And uh, yeah, these guys are scumbags. So thank you, everybody. Please like and subscribe. And have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.